doubt that she's no slouch herself. Tom Durkin has the call. It's a long run down the back stretch here at Belmont. Mile and eighth configuration. Five straight furlongs they hit the, before they hit that first and only turn. In the gate, and they are off in the bell dame. And off to the lead goes Life at 10 down inside and Bankers by right next to her. Harvard of Grace has come out running third. And Royal Delta taken well in hand. Run back in fourth, and it's four lengths back to Satan's quick check. So the blinkered Life at 10, as planned, has gone on to open up a lead here. Life at 10 in front by five after an opening quarter in 23 and two fifth seconds. And now Johnny Velasquez throws out the anchor at Life at 10, and here come the others after her, Royal Delta. Royal Delta right there with Life at 10, and Harvard Grace on the outside, Bankers by, back in fourth. And it's a long way back to Satan's quick check. So Life at 10's now given a bit more rain. The opening half mile was 46 and 3 fifth seconds. Life at 10 in front by 5 earlier. They caught her. Now she opens up a two and a half length lead. And the heavy favorite, Harvard of Grace, edges up to be second now with a half mile remaining. Royal Delta, third toward the inside. Long way back to the other two. Around the far turn. Life at 10 still in front, three furlongs remaining. Ran three quarters and 10 and three. Harvard of Grace now about to make her move as they come to the top of the stretch. Royal Delta's just in behind them. Satan's quick check has moved to fourth. Bankers by a drop out of it. They turn for home and it's Harvard of Grace in front. Harvard of Grace comes off the turn. Nothing left for Life at 10. And the three-year-old filly, Royal Delta, now moves to second. One furlong to go and a great one to catch. Harvard of Grace clear by five. Then Royal Delta second. Ramon Dominguez eases up on Harvard of Grace. She wins with something left. Something left for the Breeders' Cup. Royal Delta, a clearly beaten second. Satan's quick chick was third. And the big favorite wins big. And Rick Porter accepting congratulations. Larry Jones shaking hands and Harvard of Grace. Everything as advertised. Janine is with the trainer, Larry Jones. And Larry's just checking the toad board to look at the time. What are your thoughts after what you just saw? No, she, she's, you know, she's doing good. I You're just, very composed. Yeah, no, she's <laughs> doing good. She went by plenty. <laughs> yeah, she's, she did very well. And she, she's training like a monster. She's just so good right now. I know you had told me that, how well she was doing. And, and this was a race that, you know, could be tricky because you want to leave a little bit in the tank for the Breeders' Cup. Did she win the way you wanted her to win? Yeah, she did. Ramon was pretty well wrapped up. She had her ears forward. It was good. Yeah. What do you think you and Rick will talk about now in terms the Breeders Cup well, options. Well, I don't know. We'll see what the Jockey Club goes here next, and uh, see see how how that goes, and we'll also see how Uncle Mo comes out. He looked pretty impressive. <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, we're, we'll probably go to the Classic. I say we go to the Classic. Thanks, Larry. Congratulations. That was all inspiring, guys. Sure was. She is something special, and it's nice to hear Larry Jones just tell us flat out right there. We'll, we'll go to the Classic. We'll probably go to the Classic. You can talk about what Uncle Mo just did, and talk about what we're going to see in the Jockey Club Gold Cup but she's the real deal. Well, I mean, I, I don't think Larry Jones could have drawn it up any better. No. I mean, he it, first of all, he saw the horse that was closing in on him right next to him. So Ramon Dominguez, uh, Harvard of Grace's jockey, knew he had that horse early in the race. So now it's just a matter of measuring out enough to win and still saving something. So we're going to take a look at it right now. But, I mean, there could have been no e better feeling Ramon Dominguez, uh, Harvard Grace's jockey, has been already putting away the fast closing Royal Delta. So now, he, and he knows he's got the lead horse, Life at 10. So now it's a matter of just getting enough out of this race for Harvard Grace and still saving enough for the Breeders' Cup. Life at 10 is clearly just not even close to the same as she was when she won this race a year ago. Royal Delta, I don't know what the heck Jose Lescano was doing on the backside going into the turn there when he when he rushed up on Life at 10. I don't think that I don't think that helped. Royal Delta's chances any there. But. I don't think that was the game plan, at least in the paddock, well, no. but uh, strange things happen in the race. But I, listen, the time was, it was a big disparity in the time between Uncle Mo and her, but I would rather have an easy race like this for this filly coming off of Harvard and Whitney and then going back in the class. My point exactly that I was going to make, looking at today from a big picture standpoint as the day develops, when Uncle Mo went a mile in 133.82, yes. your thought was, okay, maybe the track is really speeding up here, as it sometimes does, as tracks begin to dry out. 
Uncle Mo's race was light years faster than Haber de Grace's race. I'm talking like eight, nine lengths faster. Wow. So At least. This really makes Uncle Mo look better when you see 149.39 wow. after a reasonable pace for Haber de Grace. Obviously, an overwhelming favorite was Haber de Grace on top of Royal Delta, and Hank had that as a $60 exact of the 5-2 for the hammer. There have been 41 Beldame winners to be named a champion, a handicapped female or a three-year-old, and one horse of the year, Lady Secret, back in 86. Could it happen again here? Could it be 42 Beldame winners? As Harvard de Grace, we talked about, puts another notch in the belts. And you see Harvard de Grace sired by St. Liam. Stands at Lane's End. St. Liam won the Breeders' Cup Classic here at Belmont in 2005. So, at a mile and a quarter. So, you know, she's got the breeding to go the mile and a quarter. You have fond memories of I do Liam have fond memories. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. As does his checking account. <laughs> Power to Grace. Very impressive. Rick Porter. Celebrating. Will they be celebrating five weeks from now at Churchill Downs? His wife Betsy's birthday today. And his other leading lady, Queen of Belmont for a day, the Bell Dame winner, Haber de Grace. More when we return.